with a strong emphasis on assisting students to become uh, independent learners uh, in their own right. In our view, the Learning Commons approach provides student spaces where students can take responsibility for their learning. It integrates library and IT services with additional library support, uh, learning support services, creating, in essence, a student precinct where services are co-located and enhanced uh, informal learning experience uh, for students. The physical spaces that uh, we wish to develop I'll just describe some of the characteristics as, as we see the uh, learning centres or the learning commons. Informal and social. Uh, and I'll show you a, a couple of slides of the Reed uh, campus or Reed uh, learning centre in a minute. We hold events, displays, fashion displays, coffee's available, drinks are available, you can relax, read, chat, do whatever you like, within some reason, within the learning centre. Um, it's a collaborative, flexible space, flexible opening hours, and that's certainly going to be a challenge for us in the future. Do we move totally to 24-hour access seven days a week? We haven't got that at the moment. Although at Reed, there is a component of the Reed Learning Centre that is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's also an area that's suitable for individual study and quiet reflection, so you do need quiet areas. but. It's surprising, even when there's functions on, there's students chatting around you, studying, working around you. It also needs, though, to be a well-supported um, and supportive environment. Attractive spaces, we've had our design, we have a centre for creative industry with design students. They've been heavily involved in both displays and the design of some of the layout of our new learning centres. We believe that the um, approach that we've adopted is aligned to our strategic themes of promoting quality education and learning with new learning support models. For example, we have drop-in learning support uh, within the learning centres, flexible delivery, access to our IP services, copyright services, um, and we are preparing for the implementation of a new learning object repository. We believe we are providing uh, client services and facilities uh, focus to client needs, and I'll show uh, some slides of that in a minute, and meeting some of our organisational capability needs. One of the key things we've done is integrate um, our teaching centres with the learning centres, where teachers from the traditional teaching areas are actively involved uh, in support and teaching uh, within the, the uh, learning centres and learning common er commons areas. And finally, growing the business by delivering online and flexible learning uh, to our um, students. The slides I'm now going to show just show, give you a feel for the developments uh, that we're taking, taking place on our campuses. The first uh, overhead just reminds you of the uh, centres that we have, and I'll just show some slides dealing with Reed, Southside, Bruce, uh, Fishwick, uh, Tuggeranong, and then a new centre, which we'll, uh, learning centre, which we'll be establishing at Gungahlin. Um, at Reed, we already have a relatively well-developed learning commons. Um, we're undertaking some refurbishment um, of the spaces at the moment, um, reducing the formality of some of the areas, increasing the social spaces, increasing computer access, um, and allowing for changing patterns of use where we'll be introducing wireless access uh, later to that learning commons uh, and learning centre later this year. The second uh, slide is our Southside campus, uh, Southside Learning Centre on our Woden campus, where we're looking at uh, redeveloping a shared space between our student services hub and our learning centre. I thought this one might be of particular interest because it shows some of the variation you can have with the learning centre approach. The diagram shows the, the physical layout. Uh, on the left hand side is the entry point uh, from uh, external to the building. It'll be the main entry point for the Southside uh, campus uh, with major signage there. You'll come in through that door on the left hand side. At the top is the student services hub with staff that counter facilities answering any um, queries, student uh, issues, counselling services are available through there, inquiries about enrolments, courses, all sorts of things that students inquire about. 
Down the bottom you see the library collection uh, and desk area. Uh, flexible learning spaces at the top. Uh, flexible learning spaces uh, in the centre of that uh, area. Uh, seminar rooms, uh, breakout areas down the, the bottom. On the right hand side, not shown on the diagram, is direct access then through into student recreational areas, food, concession areas uh, and the student association slot, uh, shop. The, the central space, uh, interestingly enough, uh, we will be using as a drop-in learning, learning support area, uh, which will open early next year, where students can study um, in their own time, own space, but we also will have support services available for lit literacy, numeracy, uh, study skills, as well as certain times of the day for specific learning needs associated with particular courses. The third side looks at uh, Bruce, which is our major campus on the north side. Uh, I won't go through that in detail. We're making some significant changes there. They'll be very similar to the Learning Centre um, and it's right in the central spine of the uh, Bruce campus, very similar to the Learning Centre that we have at uh, Reed. Then to Fishwick. Fishwick is a trade skills centre. Most of the students at Fishwick um, are apprentice, apprentices. They come for particular hours of the day, usually once or twice a week. Um, we have a lot of other students, for example, students doing welding, that sort of thing, short courses, quick courses um, of all ages. The diagram there shows what's an integrated, um, small but integrated facility. At the back are the um, food services provided by the Student Association. You'll notice on the right hand side uh, access to computer banks, um, some physical library materials uh, where the young chap is standing there on the left hand side is in fact the student hub. So it's an integrated space that's quite flexible. Students can access any time of the day and get that full suite of uh, facilities uh, from staff. The staff are integrated in terms of those activities uh, and there's multiple, multiple training uh, in terms of uh, responsibility across those different functions. <coughs> 